right, everybody. In the last episode, I showed you how to create a very blank website by uh, using REPL and just typing in your favorites. I forget if in the instructions I said like in the weekend, but like let's add your favorites. What are your favorite things to do? So add like three to 10 things you like to do. So now we're gonna work on some formatting. All right. So the HTML we put in here, we broke down this uh, paragraph six. So now there's breaks in each of those. We're going to drop down here into the style and we're going to start working on the style look of it. So you're going to type the word body and you're going to do some curly brackets and hit enter. Okay. Inside there, we are going to align the text. So we got to type text. And you can actually use your mouse and go down and click align if you'd like to do that. And we'll start with center and then a semicolon. Okay, as we go over here and we refresh the site, you can see that it centered it. If you want to change that to right and then refresh it, you can see it throws it to the right. I'm not quite sure that looks very good, but I'm going to change that back to center. Okay, uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to change the font family. And again, you can go down here or you can use your arrows, to enter, and you can start uh, typing in. So let's say we want to be kind of boring and do Times New Roman. And you can, you can create this entire, um, oh shoot. Let me try that again. There we go. You can create this family. So you like Times New Roman? Okay, that works for you. Or you want to go like Ariel, Avelica. You can do that. Don't forget to put a semicolon at the end. And then finally, let's change the font dash size. Hit enter and let's do 100 pixels at a semicolon. So Let's refresh and see what this looks like. Remember, we haven't refreshed since it's been on the right side. So it should center it, it should change it to uh, the font family, and it should uh, change the size. So let's see if it does those three things. Holy moly. It's a little too big for a website. So I'm going to back this down to 25. I'm going to um, change this to I mean, you can you can change it to whatever you'd like. Hit refresh, make sure it fits on there, and you're all good. Good job in this video.